Okay, in this question, we're not seeking an unknown concentration or volume. We have the concentration and volume of both chemicals we mix together. We just want to know what the pH is of this solution in the end. Okay, so when we take these two chemicals and mix them together, we may not have the same number of moles to be able to get total neutralization or an equivalent number of moles. So what do we need to do? We need to find the moles of each and see who might be in excess. Yeah, okay. So, here's the reaction. We have acetic acid reacting with the sodium hydroxide, forms acetate ion in water, and here's the concentration and volume given of the acetic acid, concentration and volume given of the sodium hydroxide. So, we can take moles per liter and liters and find moles of this, moles per liter and liters and find moles to of that, knowing that these two chemicals should react in a one-to-one -one ratio to form products. Okay. If we find the moles of the acetic acid by just multiplying the concentration in moles per liter times the liters, we get this many moles. We do the same for the NaOH, but here's, what the, here's the story, look at this. We have present, ready to react, 0 0.0015 moles of acetic acid, but we have more NaOH. We have 0 0.0200 moles, per, moles of NaOH. So when this reacts with this, how much of the NaOH reacts? Well, if it's a one-to-one -one ratio, and it is, then 0 0.0015 here only reacts with 0 0.0015 there. So, now, I know what I'm doing. See, I'm subtracting this from this amount here, but you know what I'm doing. I'm really saying, what's the difference between these two now? Because that'll tell you how many moles of NaOH is left unreacted. When you take away these two numbers from each other, you get 0 0.0005 moles of NaOH left over. So now, if you can find the concentration of that chemical left over, you got the pH, like this. Fooled you, this side. Okay, so we have the moles in excess, right? In excess, just trying to be cute there with the in excess. That is the number of moles of hydroxide left over in the reaction. The new volume of the solution is what you divide into the moles to get the moles per liter. Look, the volume of the hydroxide ion that it's now in, in solution, is not the original 10 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide and not the 15 milliliters of the acetic acid, but the combination of the two because you've mixed them together. The new volume of the solution is 25 mils. Divide that many liters into that many moles to get 0 decimal 020 moles per liter NaOH. How do you get the pH? It's 14 plus the log of the hydroxide ion concentration, and you get 12.30. Okay, so that's in excess of the, of the base. It is the base that is more in, in more quantity in the solution in the end. What if the acid was actually in excess? Okay, now let's do one of those. 